Did you know that our food is tested on animals on a daily basis to make sure it's safe and healthy? Several of these tests are even required by law. However, we at Wageningen University and Research know that animal experiments can often be avoided using alternative testing methods. That's why we work by the phrase no unless when it comes to animal testing for food research. We do this by applying the 3R principle, replace, reduce and refine. Our research is aimed at developing alternative methods that replace animals, but also are better able to predict biological effects of food components on humans. If that's not possible, we try to reduce the number of animal tests, for example, by first performing other tests, or refine them to minimize animal suffering. We're proud to say that at this moment, we can already replace 80% of the food-related animal tests with alternative methods, like a shellfish toxicity test, which has replaced the use of 300,000 rodents within the EU annually. We use several other methods to test the uptake, health aspects and safety of components in our food. Our advanced equipment helps us to pin down the exact composition of a product. And by using computer models, we can determine if there are any components similar to known toxins and allergens. Additionally, we use lab models to simulate the digestion in mouth, stomach and intestines. The digested food is further studied using cultivated human cells and artificial gut tissue on a microchip. This allows us to study the effects of food and food compounds on our organs. So, we only use animals if there is absolutely no other possibility. Our goal is to replace all animal testing in the food area with alternatives if it's up to us, animal testing will be something from the past, sooner rather than later.